No one will argue that tower climbers have an extremely dangerous job. Up there, the stakes are high. That's why safety sleeve testing is top priority. We'll talk about it next, let's go. You're all too familiar with a safety system. They provide a great fall protection and a freedom of movement for climbers. Just attach your D-ring on your harness to the safety sleeve on the cable. If you slip, the sleeve will lock on the cable and prevent you from falling. But you can't take these safety sleeves for granted. Today I'm joined by Joey Dewar of Dewar Development. Joey, thanks for being here. Recently, the tower industry has devoted some serious resources into testing safety sleeves. What can you tell me about that? We had a number of issues on telecommunication structures with fall protection safety. And it was a series of real world tests on telecommunication structures with TIA client facilities. Nate conducted comprehensive tests on every popular safety sleeve. And we pushed the limits of the design and use standards outside of ANSI Z359 parameters. So we needed to address the real world situations that we have to encounter every day at Work at Heights. We tested corroded cables, painted cables, cables with parasitic ice, improperly tension cables, cables at different angles, and pretty much any scenario you'd encounter in real life. We've tested it. So you did 110 drops over six days with a second round of 45 drops performed over three days. What'd you learn from that? We had to look into the real world scenarios of, of the job at hand for access to our antennas on the top of these structures. The biggest takeaway was that the properly tension cable is critical to the function of the system. If you do not have tension on the wire rope, some of the sleeves will not function at all and may fall. So we always make sure the bottom of the safety cable is secure and is properly tensioned. Okay, so what are some of the other highlights from the testing? The testing showed us that there are a number of issues with the wire rope and or compatibility with the safety sleeve. You must conform to the manufacturer's recommendations that the safety sleeve either be used with a 1x7, 7x19 construction. Next, it's dangerous to park an unsecured sleeve on a cable while it's not in use because it can fall if the cable starts shaking. We determined that the sleeves have been through an event can still be used for rescue retrieval if they are not damaged. Next, carabiners with captive pins must be used for proper function. The user's harness or body shall not contact the sleeve while climbing. The biggest takeaway is that the test results confirm that the existing Z359 standard testing protocol isn't robust enough in terms of simulating real life conditions and that additional testing criteria should be considered moving forward with the standard. Okay, Joe, time to look into the crystal ball. What lies ahead for the safety climb system? Sean, we're gonna take the information that we gathered and present it to the American National Standards Institute for Fall Protection Safety and incorporate a number of these items into the next safety standard for fall protection. On these systems, we need to address a redesign on the head assembly and or tagging or IDs at the bottom of the structure, which will call out the size, type, and construction of the wire rope for compatibility with the safety sleeve and additional information for multiple climbers on the system at the same time. For all those of you that rely on safety sleeves to make sure you go home each day, these tests were for you. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, climbers.